I think what makes someone an athlete is about how they deal with the obstacles they encounter. Everyone faces challenges, everyone has setbacks, but as an athlete, you gotta be able to tailor your approach to overcome those challenges. I think sports for most people, you know, it's just a game. You win some, you lose some, that's how it goes. But if you win some more than you lose, then all of a sudden people look at you and say, oh wow, you're talented. But I don't think you can really gauge someone's talent until you see them face adversity. Go get them, Lacey. Go get them. Good job. When I was in high school, my hurdle coach, Coach Minka, was the most important mentor figure in my life. There you go, let's go, let's go. But when I was a freshman in high school, he unfortunately passed away at my first high school track meet. He was someone who believed in me. And all of a sudden, he was gone. I had another coach, Coach Orlando, who was really supportive of me because he knew I wanted to pursue hurdling as a career. And then during my junior year of high school, he also passed away. And I remember thinking at this point, how could a sport I love bring me so much pain? Part of me just thought it'd be easier if I quit track. That's how low of a point I was at. Before I made a decision, I thought about what I learned from my coaches. And I realized that if I quit now, I would be letting them down. And in a way, I would be letting myself down. So I just decided to use their loss as a reason to continue to push myself harder than ever. Soon enough, I was back to myself on the track, winning races and getting those offers from colleges. And it meant a lot more to me because every time I stepped onto the track, I was doing it for them. They had pushed me this far. I couldn't quit. Having been through all of this in high school, when I got to college, I really wanted to create a network of support for hurdlers because it was something that I needed during my difficult times. I imagine creating a community that a younger version of myself would have been able to lean on for support. I founded Hurdle Diva LLC, which is a lifestyle brand and community support organization that encourages female hurdlers to be the best version of themselves on and off the track. Hurdle Diva LLC represents a community of hurdlers who are there to support one another through the good times and the bad times. Like I was younger, I was fairly new to hurdles and I just saw like this girl that's just like flying through the hurdles and I'm like, oh my goodness, she makes it look so easy. Like I want a hurdle like her. Like I want to be fast and run through the hurdles like her. She showed me what I needed to work more on. I have been following through with that. Good, so you need that. <laughs> yeah. Just like when I'm hurdling, I'm gonna keep taking life one up score at a time until I get to the finish line, because that's the only option. I'm Jalacia Smith, and I'm an athlete plus an entrepreneur.